Uh, tutors, Jeff Shan again with Passio T. I'm here to show you a quick video on some new tools we've added to our program. First thing you're going to really like, I know our quiz is uh, and our score section has not been great. This could make your life easier. We're working still on making the uh, score section better. But if you go to this tool here called Search a Question in your dashboard, this will allow you to search any question. Uh, if they tell you the module, say module 1, OT, you'll see all the questions drop down. If you don't know, you can also type in the words. So if I type in N-O-T-R, you'll see things that come up with that. So let's see this question here. I'm going to click on this question. And now it shows you the back end of this question. So you can easily find a question very quickly. Um, now, it will show you here's your answer. Here are the right answers, wrong answers, everything else. So... Um, your, 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 usually the rationale is italicized um, and the, uh, that's in the message with the correct answer um, here's your question here's your rationale here are your answer choices and the one that's checked is the correct answer so that's the first thing second thing we've added is something called quiz stats in the dashboard very simple we know that some students are saying that their quizzes are not recording we don't know why this is happening but this here is going to allow us to track the quizzes. You'll see here, um, this shows when the last date of this quiz was taken. Um, this is not going to solve every problem with the scores, but it should help quite a bit. We're also going to be adding here average percentage, so you can see the average percentage of each test, so we can either make the test harder or easier, just at least to have a benchmark of what that level's like on the test. And the last thing you might want to know about is scores. Scores is right here. You click on it, it's in your menu. And now you could add a student. So you can hit add email ID. So I'm going to add, uh, let's see who we want to add. I don't know. Call tutor Sarah at passeot.com. I'm going to add her. Once you add it, they're, they're in the database. And now you go see all the people you're working with real quickly here. So I'm going to click on Tutor Sarah, hit filter. This is going to show you all her test scores. And the calendar here tells you when she took the test last. So this is a very useful tool. Um, on top of that, you'll see you can click on module one. And it'll show correct answers. And these are unanswered. She didn't take any. She never got any questions right. But basically, it'll break it down for you: unanswered questions, incorrect answers, and correct answers. I hope this helps. If there's any further questions, here's another one. Maybe we can find one with a correct answer. Here we go. Here's a correct answer. So here you see correct answers in green, incorrect answers. She hasn't taken any because she didn't answer them. And here are the unanswered ones. Uh, if you have any further questions, please let me know. Jay Shane at pastot.com. Uh, thank you very much.